Namaskar. Good morning to all of you. I am sorry I am physically not present for the Independence Day program because of certain commitments. At the outset, let me wish each and every one of the Bangalore Rural District Bengali Association a very very happy Independence Day. I am sure all of us enjoy the independence that we have today because of the hard work done by our previous citizens and our ancestors. We all cherish this happiness. We are very happy in our lives. To be happy, we have to, we have to be healthy. Uh, health is defined as a state of complete physical, mental, social and spiritual well-being with the economically productive life so that we can take care of not only ourselves, our families but also the society. It is very important to maintain uh, a good quality of health throughout our lives. Now if you ask what would be the greatest wish somebody has in his life, say I need a lot of money, I need good health, I need uh, you know, houses, I need uh, uh, education for my children and so on, there is no end to that. But then we should always understand that assimilating materials is not the purpose of life. So each one of us has to achieve or understand what is our ultimate purpose of life. And that comes only when we start introspecting. From the medical field, we see human beings suffer. And if you ask a question, why should somebody suffer? Why somebody gets disease as a child or at an old age or somebody enjoys good health? We don't have proper answers for this. Bosara Savalonka medical field me jawab nahi hai. क्यों किसी को बीमारी होता है? अभी we have lot of genetic studies which says that आ इसका तो जीन खराब है, इसका lifestyle खराब है। सभी का lifestyle एक जैसा नहीं होता है। There are hundred people who may smoke cigarettes and may not get any diseases, and another ten people who smoke and they get a few diseases, but some who don't smoke get so many diseases. So it's just an example that I am telling you. So there is something more than what we understand about disease, which is not connected to your genes or your lifestyle. So if we seriously understand this particular problem, then it takes us back to what our ancestors have tried to derive out of their own rich experience, wherein they are bringing the concepts of you do good, you get good, you do bad, you get bad. So this is called the karmic theory, which clearly explains why somebody gets a disease at a particular age and why somebody should suffer or why somebody should get uh, a very good health. So to understand this further, ask any one of you what is the purpose of life? Each one might have a different goal. When I was young, my purpose of life was to become a good doctor and be of some service to society. But then, you know, ultimately we are all going to die one day. So what is the actual purpose of life? This is a question that we need to address ourselves. So in our ancient textbooks, many of our scientists or so-called rishis they have all done lot of research on themselves and come to a common conclusion that uh, the purpose of life is knowledge, is knowledge of our own selves and to attain that knowledge we need to put in lot of efforts. It doesn't come by working physically, we need to work mentally and that mental process is called meditation. Now to achieve meditation we have to be at peace with ourselves and our surroundings. Now why I say about mental peace and meditation, because to enjoy good health, it's ultimately the peace of mind which leads to good health. We have a lot of uh, researches which say that if somebody is stressed out or uh, is hurt mentally, his immune system goes down and that predisposes to certain medi uh, medical conditions. So to boost up your immunity, you need to keep the immune system happy, which comes only by doing good meditation. If you look at diseases today, most of the medical profession focuses on trying to treat diseases. We hardly try to prevent uh, diseases, but most of the diseases that we see today can be prevented. So prevention of disease becomes more important in the present context because cost of treatment is exceptionally high. If somebody gets into the ICU for one or two days, easily the bill crosses 25 to 30,000. Uh, very often insurance companies try their best not to provide you insurance also. 
So in such situations, it is always important to prevent as many diseases as possible. I strongly believe that humanity suffers from three Ds, disease, disability and death. And to modify these three Ds, you have to stay very healthy physically, mentally and spiritually. So I used to tell to my friends that to conquer the three Ds, you need to use three other Ds, that is Dana, Dharma and Dhyana. So with these three Ds, I'm sure we can prevent many illness, not only in this particular life that we have, and suppose we have future lives as well, probably we may get a better quality of life. So having said this, uh, today we are trying to organize a program on uh, prevention of diseases. My good friend Dr. Shashi Khan is here, who is a specialist in disease prevention. Let me introduce Dr. Shashi Khan to you. I consider him as my Guruji. He is post MBBS. He did an MD in yoga therapy and focuses very keenly on how to holistically treat diseases. If you look at the present medical scenario, an allopathic uh, doctor might say that all the other systems of medications are uh, quackery or are not correct. Ayurveda doctor ke pas jayenge wo bolenge allopathic dawai to zahar hai. Homeopathic people will say that okay my treatment is the best. But let me tell you there is no single system which is 100% foolproof. That is why we need to leave away our egos and try to have a concept of holistic medicine. And that's what Shashikant does. He is an expert in that. So today Dr. Shashikant might uh, take you through to various aspects of holistic medicine with a focus on prevention of diseases and help you to get positive health. We are not looking at simply stay away from disease, but we are looking at something called positive health where your overall productivity increases. I have personally seen in myself and many of my friends that if we do good exercises in the morning, do some breathing exercises, yoga, meditation, the whole day becomes productive and you are full of energy. And normally we work for 12 to 14 hours and that energy comes only by the process of yoga and meditation. So I'm sure Shashi is going to teach you a lot of exercises today, yoga sanas, and it's also going to teach you prevention of simple diseases. With these few words, let me end my speech today. This Independence Day, let us all resolve to keep ourselves healthy, physically, mentally, socially, spiritually, and lead a very economic life. Let us spend at least five or 10 minutes daily in meditation. Let us not harm anyone. Let us not even think, speak or do any harm to anyone so that they also stay healthy in the various spheres what I told and we also stay healthy. Jai Hind.